Well, here we are at Tiger Den. Uh, we're taking on Stardozer Human Resources, Bulldozer Power. Uh, coming to you here on the Electro Sports TV network. Uh, we'll see if we go uh, Modern change in the lineup this week. Steve Morey is resting, and uh, we've brought in Julius Flaming Hardware in, in his place. Uh, as we're on the field, on the field, no. As we're on the road, that's what people say uh, today. We'll be up to bat first, which means that Cindy Vapid uh, makes her way to the batting arena, and uh, and we'll be waiting for something that she likes the looks of. No, no, no. Come on, son. What do you got? No, that's not it. Uh, it we are facing off against Dante and Testins. Cindy there going for one that is perhaps inadvisable doesn't make it very far. Uh, here's Hatchet Malibu, who's uh, who's still in, in place of crampons. Um, her batting average isn't completely terrible, you know, but uh, she's never, never re Oh, that's quite good. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well done. Ah, oh, good. No, that's, no, that's nice. It's all right. All right. I, I, I look, see, it's when a commentary's legitimate, see, when I, when I legitimately say something about them, uh, and it's negative, they immediately hit the ball. Uh, when I make it up, now the universe spots that, and it doesn't allow me to uh, to get a cheeky, you know, big old hit there. All right, well, in that case, I'll just, I'll keep me uh, commentary naturalistic in nature. Uh, it's Ulysses' failure. Da oh, what a catch. Uh, that's who party boy there, picking up the catch. And uh, that will be two outs. Still got a runner on first. His PayPal event horizon to uh, to hopefully turn this into something. Uh, but uh, our, our opening inning, we usually blow jolly hot or uh, entirely cold. Oh, it's gone well. All right, what happened there? What does that count as? If he's thrown it out of play, we advance an extra base. Shouldn't I be allowed to just run home? He threw that one into the crowd. That was fortunate. Uh, that will bring up, uh, uh, what's it, uh, it's Furious Spongy, well, and uh, we've got runners now, second and third. Furious, if he gets a base hit, never mind. Um, no, I, was, I mean, you know, you don't need me to finish that, because it's very obvious what would have happened if he got a base hit there, but... <sighs> Alright, uh, so Baldos are all out there, and uh, we're now going for... Uh, uh, for our first defensive struggle, and it's Margot Spatula, the uh, first baseman, I believe, first base, yeah, yeah, uh, who is uh, who's going to be facing off against Vivian Crumble. Uh, now, we only have one really good pitcher on the team. The other pitchers aren't aren't good. Oh, Kojak with the jumping catch. That's very nice. Uh, okay, right. Nina Flattery uh, is up next, and uh, we'll we'll see if we can't dispatch her the same way. So far, we've only needed. Uh, the old fastball there. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's go for a go go for a two seamer. No, she didn't. Oh, no, she didn't bite on that one. Okay. Time to bring bring in the bendy stuff. And that one's good. Kojak does. It not, well, a bit of confusion there between the fielders, and uh, and it doesn't doesn't pay off. Not a terrible fielding performance there, but it it could have been better. Is Len Styrofoam? Uh, all right. Go for the go, go back to the bendy stuff. Bend it better. Alright, okay, now we're now we're cooking with baseball. Alright, that's a foul. Try him on the change up, Viv. I don't fancy your chances, but you never know. There it is! And uh, Viv Crumble there. Nailing the strikeout. That'll bring up uh, <clears throat> Party Boy, uh, the shortstop. Uh, it's a little bit tense. Clearly he's not been playing as well as he might have been playing so far. I should possibly have pointed out at the start of the show today. Uh, that Bulldozer Power on a 12 and something record and uh, Stardozer on an 11 and something record uh, which means that both these teams are uh, are looking good for a bit of postseason action but a, a win here uh, would do them both favours. Try it again Viv, see if he bites. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, uh, yep, he bit. He bit. Uh, yeah, he Kind of saw that one coming, and uh, Stardozer are off to a two-run lead. Uh, here's Bernard Dunk. Uh, he's only batting 241, but he is an A-minus rated batter, and uh, and you would expect him to be able to bat at an A-minus level. Cindy's got that one. Throws to first, and that's out number three. Sides retired, but not before some damage is done. Now we never like the damage being done, but hopefully we can recover from that. 
Uh, his Zoltan Zoltan, three home runs for him this season so far. Uh, he hasn't uh, he hasn't been a fence popper as much as you might like. Uh, well, as much as I might like. I don't know what you like. Uh, your your tastes are, are largely a mystery to me. Uh, but uh, in terms of, you know, stuff up... No way is that a strike. You've thrown that twice now, and I object. Uh, two and two is the count. Uh, full count now. Zoltan yet to swing. And he, he, he sticks that one foul. Okay. He sticks that one... Uh, is it far enough, or is Zoltan too slow? He, he is too slow, and he's out now. Here's Julius flipping hardware. We don't like Julius hardware, but, I mean, his batting average speaks for itself. It's really quite something. 560. And, uh, I mean, he put some heat on that immediately. I went the wrong way, but uh, the heat was there. Uh, it's going to need some kind of cooling salve. And he not makes the pitcher, and once again, hardware's on base. He's really not that good, you know, but for some reason, he, he just makes it happen. Maybe it's the hatred. Maybe he's fueled by hate. Uh, is what gets it done. Here's Kojak, uh, our last proper batter in the lineup. Oh, Kojak, what are you doing? That was obviously too high. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Ah, oh, fooey. Well, that'll give us Vivian Crumble. So, uh, Viv, just stand your ground. Unless something looks particularly fine. Yeah, that's strike one. Yeah. We just, uh, I mean, just take the pitches. Right, we just, I mean, look, the more of these pitches we use up, the more this idiot pitch is going to be worthless to us. Actually, have a go at that, otherwise that would have been a strikeout. I mean, you're out anyway, so, you know, what's the difference? Uh, might as well have a swing while you're there. So, still no score for Bulldozer Power. A couple of hits now, but, yes, yeah, just not, it's just not there. Uh, here's Constance Frenzy. She's turned up in an American football helmet for reasons best known to herself. And, uh, in fact, it looks more like a cricket helmet. Whatever, she's... She's sporting a, an unusual an unusual uh, set of guardage. She's on base now, so with that moment has now passed. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks. And, uh, and she's going to see what she can do to the pitches incoming from Viv Crumble, who I need to get, oh, let's, say, let's say four, at a minimum, innings out of before we can bring in a reliever. Uh, because uh, I, my... Uh, my, my ball pen at the moment is not what you might want. What you might want is a ball pen full of premium rate pitchers. What I've got is a ball pen full of bad pitchers and a couple who are pretty good, but they're both really tired. It's uh, ball two, strike two. Uh, yeah, th there's still some baseball going on while I'm chuntering away, but, you know, there it is. That one's up. It's, uh, no, that one's gone to the audience. All right, okay, come on, come on. Come on, Viv, put them away. I'll do. All right. Okay. Could have got a double play off that, uh, but decided to take the safe out first. That's just a that's a policy that we have. Here's uh, orbital velocity. Now the orbital, based on the stats, should be able to hit pretty well, uh, but it's just not going to go very far. That's what it says on the stat sheet, but I don't know if I believe that. No. Well, we'll, we'll see if I. If, oh, come on, Zoltan! Come on, Zoltan! Zoltan there. Oh, oh, that's only out number two, Zoltan. Do you want to get with the program? Gave up a couple of bases there, which is far from ideal. And now bring up the pitcher, Dante Intestines. We assume he's going to hit this. There you go, he did look. Yeah. Oh, well done there, Dante. Oh, you didn't hit that one, though, did you? No. All right, well, you're going to bite hard on this, I would imagine. Oh, you have. But uh, it's only gone as far as Hatchet, who will round things out for us. Okay, well, two innings down, and it's still two to nothing in favour of Stardozer. Human resources, and we're back looking at Cindy Vapid again. Uh, and she'll be hoping for anything. Oh, that was a lovely pitch, but she swung too late. So, yeah, she didn't, she didn't wait for this one, though. No. She's put that one into low Earth orbit. It's currently up there, taking uh, geological survey data uh, for NASA. Um, obviously, geological survey data, you would probably want to be on the ground for that. All right, hang on. Environmental survey, weather pattern. She's doing some science there. Never mind. There was, there was a good line in there, but yeah, no, I stepped on it. It happens. Uh, hatchet wasting no time at having a good swing. All right. Having another good swing and caught out there. 
and uh, that's uh, that's one down. Uh, here's Ulysses, hoping for hoping for anything from Ulysses, but you never know. No, 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 no. That one's that one's not going to fly. That one shouldn't have swung at. Should have just left it. Or that one. What's your problem, son? Come on, ground yourself. You're fizzling, and and we don't want that. It's uh, it's a, it was all almost almost a good uh, a good a good hit that one, but it ended up not being a good hit. Here's PayPal Event Horizon, who's uh, who's been blowing cold again. Uh, he started blowing a little hotter when we moved him down the batting order. Anyway, he's got uh, he's got a couple of pieces of that one, and he's assembling it on the dining room table. There you go, and he's assembled a home run. There's crampons stood at the fence there doing machine guns. I don't know. I think he's actually doing twin pistols. Yeah, yeah, that's certainly what it looked like. Yeah. All right, Papal breaks his cold streak and uh, and is in business. Uh, I mean, I don't mind a home run, you know, but uh, I'll be honest with you. You know, racking up the bases and just getting the engine of uh, of run scoring going is is far preferable. Uh, Furious now on strike two. He's had a pop at that, and it's good enough. And Furious will make it on base. He could have. He could still make it. No, get back. Get back. I assumed one of those clowns would pick the ball up, but they they took their sweet time about it. If he'd have uh, if he'd have known that was going to happen, he'd have gone for a pair, but he didn't. No. We now rely on Zoltan. Oh no, hold on. No, we now rely on the pitcher actually. You know, figuring that we're not going to try and steal. Boof. Okay, that hasn't got uh, that. No, the boof didn't quite reach the destination intended, uh, and uh, and that's everybody out. But uh, Bordeaux's a power of pulled level. After a couple of good hits. And that's all it takes. That's what's great about this game. Is that everything can change with a couple of good hits. Uh, and then everything can change again with a couple of bits of bad batting. Uh, Zoltan moves in to intercept. He's waving. He's got it. Out number one. I don't even know who that was. Well, they will be disappointed with themselves. Because uh, that's all over for them now. Uh, here is Nina Flattery. Uh, Viv Crumble so far. Doing all right. Oh, no, why did you say that? Oh, for good reasons. Boom. Get off. Okay, right. Uh, here's Len Styrofoam. Two outs now. Uh, he had a miss first time around, or a strikeout, or something. I mean, whatever he had, he won't be pleased about it. Let's see if we can't make him not pleased about this as well. This, uh, that one's gone foul. Okay, do give it some of this action. All right. Come on, Julie. And that's out number three. And the side's put away. At the end of three, it is two to two. Uh, Bulldozer power. Stardozer are human resources. Uh, Bulldozer are leading on hits. But, I mean, you know, that <laughs> doesn't mean anything. Um, here is Julie Hardware. He got himself a single last time round. His, uh, his batting average continues to increase. Much to the chagrin of this commentator. That's down. Okay. All right. Ball one. Julie Hardware. There's ball two. God, I hate him. I mean, look at his stance. Yeah. Come on, son. Put one where I want it. That'll do. Never mind. Okay. All right. And Julie Hardware is out uh, for a duck. And uh, here's Kojak. Didn't manage anything first time around, but uh, anything can happen with Kojak, Mr. On. We've put her in the back, to the back end of the order in order for things to happen. And that happened just then. That was a thing that occurred. And uh, Kojak makes it a first. Here's Vivian Crumble. Well, Viv, you know the golden rule here. Just don't get everyone out and uh, and you've done no harm. Uh, you're very much like the medical profession in this case. Is uh, First do no harm. Uh, but, uh, you know, that means don't give up a double play. Uh, you're allowed to get out. You're a pitcher. I have, no, I have no expectations on you suddenly developing amazing batting skills. Um... Although, you know, it has to be said uh, that Des Eyeliner, he, he did a hit a home run last week. Just saying. I mean, if you could do the same, that would be amazing. With your stats, particularly. Uh, Viv with a halfway decent hit. And she'll advance to base. That's going to improve her confidence and mood. And, uh, and lots of people will go, Vivian Crumble. Crikey. Okay, fine. Base hit. Very good. Here's uh, Cindy Vapid. Uh, hit a home run last time round. Well, you know. You were here. I mean, it only happened a moment ago, so... Uh, well, it was a hole in it. Oh, yeah. She's going to get caught this time, though. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. Well spotted. Yeah, thanks. 
Uh, I've been here before. I've I've seen these things happen from time to time. His hatchet Malibu runners first and second, two outs. Bulldozer power at the top of the fourth. Can they turn this into something points worthy? Well, Hatchet's had a good swing at that, but it hasn't got the distance. And she's going to be caught out at the fence. And Oh, no! Not caught out at the... Oh, no! It was off the fence. We could have scored runs there. This means that the big man himself, Ulysses Failure, is now our last best hope for peace in the galaxy. Uh, like Babylon 5, he's about the same size. He's had a go, but he's going to be caught. And an opportunity wasted with the bases loaded. And uh, that's that then. Yeah, I mean, all of these hits, they drive the stats up, you know, but you know what they don't do? What? They don't win ball games. And we're here to win a ball game. Okay, down into the bottom of the fourth now. <laughs> Party boy hit a home run with his first at bat. Uh, is he going to be able to do anything similar with his supplemental ones? Are you sure supplemental's the right word? Um, yeah, I think it is. It feels like it should be supplementary. No, no, no that's definitely not the right word. Subsequent. That's uh, supplemental is an adequate word, but subsequent is the uh, is the word I was actually chasing after there. Well, it's a relief to us all that you managed to find it. Hang on, no, we don't do the two voice thing here. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, okay, crack on. Okay, what's the what's the count at the moment? It's uh, strike two, ball two, and uh, uh, Viv is gonna. We tried him on a change up last time, and he hit it over the fence. Okay, all right, we won't do that this time. Hatchet. Can't quite reach it. That's going to go as far as the fence, uh, which means that that's a that's a double there from uh, Party Boy, and he's he's clearly more dangerous than we're perhaps giving him credit. Well, uh, I'm giving him all the credit now. Uh, here's Bernard Dunk, and uh, Bernard Dunk is uh, is yet to have a hit today. I mean, he's only had one go, to be fair, but he's still yet to have a hit. I'm taking solace in what small miracles may exist. Kojak, get to it. Come on. Thank you. Throw it to third, just in case this clown tries it. Flipping heck, she's got an arm on her. Yeah, that was a, that was a good throw. Uh, here's Constance Frenzy. She's got the arm of an outfielder. Oh, crikey. Well, oh, details and things. Uh, Constance Frenzy is uh, a baseball player. All right, ball one. Yeah, I thought I, thought I had a, a nugget of information that might, uh, that might prove to be illuminating on the situation, uh, but I don't. All right, strike one, ball two. Uh, Viv finding the target for the first time. Uh, and that one's up. No, Julie can't get to that one. Uh, how many outs have we got? One out. It's important to know this stuff because it affects how you play. Yeah, Zoltan's going to secure that one with his fat fingers. He throws it to third just in case. And that's two outs now. Runner on second is uh, Thor Haystacks, the uh, whatever position she plays. Second. She plays second. Yeah. Right, important position. Well, all the all the positions are important, uh, but uh, you know, and she'd say that second base was probably you know vitally important. Yeah, all right, okay, good. Anyway, things are occurring. No, that one's gone foul, and uh, well, now we'll try it on the change up because uh, if we secure a whiff here, then uh, that one's not good. Failure. Oh, what a catch! Happens once in a while, you know. Oh, hello. What's going on there? Something happened on the uh, on the scoreboard. No, it's uh, it's an advert. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's a good bit of fluff. No, I like that. Not seen that before. No, it's good. In fact, I think this might be the, my first time in this stadium, which is uh, appears to be in Korea. All right. I don't speak Korean, so uh, it's hard to tell for sure. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a Korean-oriented uh, stadium. Yeah, I know. There you are. That's only because I saw the Korean flag, you see, and therefore, you know, I, I use deduction. And we get a walk. Well, Papal there, he's, uh, they, they, they face nothing of interest, and, uh, and he's away. Here's Fury Sponge Bath, one or two for him today. And uh, the pitch has still got some life left in him. Thrown pitches, uh, thrown 64 pitches so far today. So we'll be starting to get tired. Can Furious do anything useful? No, he can get Papal out. Well, Papal didn't really deserve to be there. He had a walk. One out. Zoltan, Zoltan. 0 for 2 today. And, uh, well, you know, the usual stuff would be fitted into the lines of commentary here. Along uh, the, uh, well, Zoltan will be hoping for, and so on. You know, all that kind of stuff. He gets a hit there. That's uh, solid. All right. 
Runners first and second, one out, and it is the boy Hardware uh, who is up to uh, to try his luck with his stupid face and his silly hair. Come on in, Hardware. Come on. No. No, I I plan to uh, I plan to lift off there because that it was obvious that that was a that was a wrong one as soon as I, I thought about hitting it, but it was too late. I'd already committed to the moment, and uh, he's out. It's Kojak. Two runners. Kojak yet to have a big impact on the game, but we're there. All right. Okay. Well, no, we're going for too much. Going for too much. Going for too much. Oh, we got it. Ho, ho, ho. Got a run and an extra base there for the uh, for the second runner. Um, and uh, Viv Crumble is in. Where are we? Top of the fifth. Can't take you out, Viv. Sorry. Viv, we're going to have to hope that you... Well, actually, we've, we've got runners at the corners. Viv, if you can make anything, never mind. No, the, the instinct was okay there, but we, you can't expect too much of your pitcher. But as is always the case, Bulldozer are power throwing away scoring opportunities left, right and centre. Um, yeah, could have taken Viv out. Could have done. Could have put a hitter in. But, uh, I mean, that was no guarantee. No, I think I start with the slider too often. Let's go with something I usually don't start with. Yeah, let's try that. We don't want them anticipating nothing. No, if they anticipate things, then that's that's all bad news. Hatchet's going to get to that one. Now it'll be thrown to first, and that's out number one. Okay, good. Here's Dante intestines, a pitcher. They're keeping him in. They're keeping him in. See, I did the same thing. Uh, admittedly, he hasn't got anyone in scoring position, so they really don't care whether he does well or not. Hatchet, and that's out number two. Okay, here's Margot Spatula, who is theoretically on fire despite having no hits so far today. I don't know if she deserves to be on fire, I'll be honest with you. I, I think she deserves to be, you know, feeling a little bit more humble than that. Um, but uh, I know I'm not one to uh, I'm not one to judge. Well, I am. Judging is what I do for a living. Is it? No. Okay, uh, two strikes now. Ball one, and she's got a she's got some mustard on that. And it's fine. Yeah, she's got to first. Okay. I mean, star player and all that, you would expect that to be the case. Here's uh, Nina Flattery. And uh, she's had a hit today. Obviously, she'll want another one here. I mean, they always want another hit. I mean, I mean it's, it, when you talk about, you know, commentary that has absolutely zero value, hardware to second. Stolen. Okay. All right. All right. That, that happened. You know, that's the sort of thing I should be doing more often. Yeah, I just don't have the confidence. Well, look, you've you've pretty much made it to uh, you're out, go on, clear off, and that's the side retired. Just a strike out there from Viv Crumble. I think that's her third of the day. Might be second, probably third, might be second, but it probably third. I haven't been keeping count. I'll be honest with you. What was I talking about before that? Stealing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think once I've locked in the division, maybe we should try a game where I try and steal absolutely anything possible and see how that goes. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cindy, not not biting there, biting on that one though. She's absolutely taken someone's head off in the audience with that. That one's not got the distance. Party boy's going to whip it over the first, and uh, Cindy's going to go for a sit down. Uh, his uh, hatchet. She's had two singles today. Good performance. Solid. Uh, well worth the admission. She's got another one there. Hatchet proving to be a consistent batter for now. Uh, historically, she hasn't been. No. Historically, she's been a little bit patchy, failing to find her role in the team. His failure is uh, 0 for 3 today. And that one hasn't got enough cheese on it either. No. No, that one's out. But centre field. Failure. I think we can safely say he's in a slump. Uh, his uh, event horizon, speaking of slumps, and uh, two outs. And uh, Event Horizon's going to want to make something happen here. Yeah, that's ball two. Uh, he's had a walk. That's good. Yeah. And so far, that's ball three. He can now wait a couple of pitches and see what happens. There you go. He's got another walk. All right. Solid. Well done, people. Just stand there, mate. That's, uh, that's your job now. Apart from when I want you to hit it over the fence. His furious sponge bath. Uh, two outs. And uh, I'm feeling a pitching change coming up pretty soon, I would say. Possibly if he makes another at-bat. And Furious gets everyone out. Oh, you... Well, a tenuous lead for Bulldozer Power. 3-2 to two is the score here at the bottom of the sixth. In the bottom of the sixth. Near the bottom of the sixth and over it. 
Uh, it's Len Styrofoam who's up to bat and he's over two today. Um, but he's a good player. So we shouldn't anticipate him being over two for very long. No. No, in fact, he'll never be over two again, will he? Uh, all right. Yeah, smarty pants. Yeah, because that's how, that's how it works. That's how they do the scoring on this stuff. Zoltan. What a catch. That's the second slidey catch of the day. Obviously not both for Zoltan, but there we go. This is going to bring up Party Boy. Yeah, he's a he's a tasty looking dude. He's had a he's had a home run and a double so far today. He's uh, he's in his moment, in his elements. Uh, he's in his high castle. That one's possibly going as far as Hatchet, who goes. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, Bernard Dunk is the last man up. Also 0 for two today. Uh, well, let's see if we can't change his mind on that. Okay, he's he's slung that one pretty much out of the stadium, but in the wrong direction. We're kicking himself. Because, oh, I know which way I'm supposed to hit it. Oh, I've put up in the wrong way. That's not what he sounds like. That was just me, you see, doing a... Doing it. That one has got some length. Yeah, he, he worked out which way he was supposed to hit it and then did so. It went, that went... That was top deck, that was. Yep. Shandy Bass. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm t it's, a, it's a baseball game and that was a joke that will only work for people in the UK over the age of about 40. Uh, right, anyway. Um, uh, Viv Crumble now. Uh, two outs. Scores are tied again. That's good news, isn't it? Um, no. And it's Constance Frenzy and her silly hat that's, uh, that's, who's come to have a go. She's obviously worried. I mean, there's not much to it, you see. So uh, she's, she's possibly a little concerned that if the ball hits her, she'll break. Hatchet. Well, a, a noble effort by Hatchet Malibu there, but she couldn't quite get to it. And that'll be a base hit. And that's going to bring around four haystacks. Okay, Thor. Now, I need to get you out, because what we don't want is the pitcher to come around in the rotation. Because then they can, get a, they can get a substitution that they might be tempted to make later on anyway. Out number three. Good job. Well done, everybody. Get off the fields. Let's uh, run around the circles again. Ah... Uh, that's technical, that's what we say in the locker room. Yeah. Come on, everybody, run around the circles. Right. Dante Intestines. Are they going to sub him straight away, or are they going to see if he's got life in him? Nope, they're going to see if he's got life in him, and Zoltan's going to try and prove that he hasn't. Come on, Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan. Terrible hit from Zoltan. Straight to Spatula, and he's gone. Here's Julie Hardware. Well, Julie Hardware's only had one of three. There we go. Pitching changeover. Johan Tremendous is coming in. And, uh, oh my, look at him. He is tremendous. With that beard and, and those sunglasses and the demeanour that he's carrying there. What a what a terrific individual. Oh, flipping egg. Yeah, we'll be out again then. Yep, Julie Hardware now. One of four today. I think we can rightfully hate him. Well, we did anyway. Uh, rightfully, wrongfully, who cares? We hate him. Right, Kojak now will face down uh, Johan in all his splendour and uh, see if he can't, you know, make him feel a little bit less splendid. Well, after ball three, no, and uh, Kojak gets uh, to go walkies. And that will bring up Viv Crumble, who we will substitute and uh, and find someone exciting to uh, to replace them with. Well, we've got uh, Veronica Hammock. That's not a bad call. Yeah. We want someone who can actually hit it, and, and hopefully, you know, well, they're going to miss Mephisto then, isn't it? All right, Mephisto, I don't need you uh, to uh, to hit a home run. All I need you to do is get a base hit. All right, that would be uh, that would be terrific. Anyway, two outs. Runner on first. Lynn Mephisto in for the pitcher, kills us all. Well, coming in as a as a, a, a batter of of that nature is is frequently uh, going to lead to woeful. I can never get the terminology right. Pinch hitter. Is it a pinch hitter? Whatever. Uh, designate. It's not designate. No, we don't play the designated batter rule, so it's a pinch hitter then. Of a sort. The pinch hitter you bring in to bat in a pinch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Does it really matter? No. Anyway, uh, Orbital Velocity is being substituted for Horatio Gunship, uh, who is a, uh, a far more interesting uh, batter in terms of statistical prowess. Uh, however, they're going to have to substitute him for a replacement catcher when they are next on the defence. And as ever, Jeff Flipping Conservative being left-handed has, has thrown my uh, 
throw my eyesight out a little bit. Yeah. That's weird. Anyway, that was a base hit. Right, it's, uh, it's tremendous. They're taking him off. Well, that's good. I don't want to have to face him again. And they're bringing in uh, Justine Underworld. So it's 9 slash PH. You know what PH is? What? Pinch hitter. Oh, okay. Right, okay. I've deduced something with my deduction goggles. Right. Yeah, right, okay. Strike one. Who is it? Justine Underworld. No, we, had, we don't hear from her very often. Let's hope we don't hear from her again. She just got a hit. Yes, not good news. Oh, flipping heck. Spongy, I know it wasn't the easiest catch to make, but, I mean, this is what you're paid for. Here's Marco Spatula. They've got runners on the corners, and Stardozer Human Resources are poised to take the lead as they have no outs at the current time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And uh, it falls to Jeff Conservative to try and stop this from turning into trouble. Well, if, you, if there was anybody on the team that would be well-placed to do that sort of thing, it is Jeff Conservative. But I'll be completely honest with you, the way he's pitching at the moment is a little bit all over the shop. All right, Jeff, try and, try and nail her at the plate, would you? That's good enough. It's good enough, but they are going to run for home. Failure's got it. There's the run for home. No, they, they changed their mind when they clocked that I was about to lob the ball in straight away. So that's one away. This calls for some defending. We want all of this uh, batting replacement shenanigans uh, that they've been up to to be for naught. Jeff, strike one. Uh-oh. And uh-oh indeed. And it's a big home run there for Face McBat's person uh, who has uh, done the... Who is it? Nina Flattery. Thank you. Uh, Nina Flattery's first home run of the season is a big one uh, for three runs and uh, all of a sudden the game has been blown wide open Jeff will not be flipping thrilled uh, and unfortunately all of the uh, uh, the substitution shenanigans they've been up to look like they've paid off which I mean it upsets me it's like they know what they're doing yeah here's party boy two of three today home run double couple of runs batted in he's dangerous well, he's not that dangerous right now, though, because there is no one else on the field for him to uh, to score bonus runs. From. Zoltan, do you want it or what? Oh, flipping egg. That one inched over the fence, and that's the second home run of the day for uh, Party Boy. Oh, dear me. Yeah. And, uh, and this one is getting away from us. Uh, we're, uh, we're in the bottom of the seventh. And uh, Stardozer have suddenly learned how to play. This is unfortunate. The one thing we always hope is that they never learn how to play. Kojak. Too little, too late. So she's got the out. Right, Underworld is off. And they're bringing in a Le Le Daniel Skyline to do some pitching. He's, well, he's mediocre across the board. We'll probably have trouble facing off against him. Does that mean they've got a left fielder now at catcher? It, it looks that way, doesn't it? Hold on. Uh, no, he's, they're taking gunship off and they're putting in Dennis Offside, who's a little bit tired, uh, but not so tired that he can't play. And uh, we're going to have to figure out how to uh, come back from a four-run deficit. All right, Cindy tries something. No, that's, that that is not going to work, Cindy. Cindy is gone. His hatchet Malibu. Uh, yeah. Four one. All right. Uh, hatchets. Try. Look, Hatchet, you're not just you're not a home run hitter. Stop going for the fence. Just put in something low and bobbly. And then we'll be we'll be solid. Here's uh, Mr. No Hits himself, Ulysses Failure. And if there were a time for him to uh, to learn how to play, it would have probably been about five or six innings ago. Uh Zed though, he's out again. And uh Bulldozer Power choking in the eighth, giving him only one more opportunity to try and uh, salvage anything from this. Uh, conservative, meanwhile, he's only been he's only been pitching one inning, and he's given up more more hits than um uh, I was going to say Spandau Ballet, you see, but it I don't think they were a big enough a bigger more hits than Madonna. Yeah, you see, if that had just tripped off your tongue, that would have been quite good. But I, but you see, I I don't see. I mean, Madonna has had a lot of hits, obviously, uh, but uh, I don't see her as being you know quirky enough uh, that that would have been a solid gold line well who would you go for then 
So you could go for Springsteen, which is, you know, I mean, the boss is, uh, he's, he's nicely blue collar. Uh, and, uh, and therefore, you know, that's a, that's a good working man's reference. But it's also ancient. Yeah, okay. Arguably, Madonna ancient as well. Yeah, but she does a good job on, uh, on managing to, to maintain relevance. Reinventing herself on a regular basis. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's true enough. Well, who would you go for then? You want someone who's... I mean, you could say like someone like Ariana Grande, but you don't know, right? You know the names, but it doesn't mean that you've got familiarity with their... What about Taylor Swift? Oh, more... Possibly. Still not funny enough, though. You've got to find... Anyway, enough of this. It's the ninth inning. Papal Event Horizon's up to bat. And we trail by four. And Papal goes for one that he didn't need to. And he's out. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's furious. He's only one for four today. Not that it really matters. We've got a few stinkers on the team. And furious isn't the worst of them. But that's a nice hit. He's going to get a pair off that. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all good. Lovely job. Well done. Double for Furious Spongebath. And uh, Zoltan is uh, also, you know, whiffing. In, uh, in the smell sense a little today um, he's uh, he's not really he's not really done much for a while as Zoltan oh hold on no he's done something now there you go he's got himself out okay well runner on third Julie Hardware who's also one for four today and uh, this is it last ditch last hope last chance and Hardware has hit in a run okay we now only trail by three with two outs Oh, yes, it could all change. It's Kojak. Kojak. Come on, Kojak. People believe in you, Kojak. I'm one of them sometimes. Kojak wastes no time. Gets the game over and done with. Well done. Excellent. No, no. no there's, there's no sense in prolonging the agony. Uh, I didn't think we had it, and we didn't. Uh, therefore, I was right. Arguably, however, the, uh, that power was in my own hands, and therefore I caused that to happen. So seven to four, the final score. Stardozer Human Resources with a with a good win for them. Uh, Bulldozer Power with a mediocre performance. I'll be honest, mediocre performance. Uh, who really sucked today? Uh, please hold. Ulysses failure, I think, is uh, is the big suck of the day. Uh, although there are others in the running. There, Zoltan, not impressive. Um, Cindy, not impressive. No, she had a home run. Cindy gets a pass. Uh, Papal also had a home run, but it was his only hit. <laughs> okay. One hit and his home run from five attempts. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, that gives us score. No, that's it. It's just those two. Zoltan, failure. Both full of suck. Jeff Conservative will be very disappointed with his own performance today. He's uh, he's usually more conservative than that, but today he wasn't. No, he was, uh, he was liberal uh, by comparison. Uh, unsurprisingly, it's her... Party boy, who gets the uh, number one star player of the day, uh, with Nina Flattery also getting a mention. Papal Event Horizon, out of charity, gets the third star. Four games to catch up on today to uh, to bring us all up to speed, and the first is uh, the thirteen and three beekeepers against the five and twelve Sunbus. Uh, in terms of games that just don't matter, this is one of them. Uh, the beekeepers, they're quite obviously winning. Uh, 14 to uh, who cares? No, that's their that's their season score. Uh, meanwhile, Colonel Space Agency six and eleven up against uh, twelve and five Stardos of Human Resources in the battle for space. You could call it some kind of star conflict, and that one's over. And uh, and actually, the uh, Space Agency got the win there. Not that it makes a massive amount of difference. Uh, the Nomads eight and nine still in with a breath of a chance if they can knock out the uh, the Human Resources team here. Uh, Stardos are off to an early lead. Hold on to it. And I think that's probably the end of the Nomad season. Uh, finally, we've got the Nomads again playing the repeat of uh, the, the game that we just saw. And Stardos have given them a whip in a second time. Uh, so as we look at the standings, uh, Stardos are human resources top the wood chipper division ahead of Colonel School. Both teams looking solid for some postseason action. Uh, in the Bombastic, it is Bulldozer Power. Uh, 12 and 5, just ahead of Peninsula Transport on 11 and 6. The Bumps and Medics aren't out of it. 
They could qualify by getting to 11 wins, but we'll we'll see how that goes for them. Uh, over in the whoop whoop, you've got the Ov City Axemen, top of the division. Uh, and they have a game in hand over Faleywood Hills, who are on 10 and 9. Uh, Faleywood Hills still look good for postseason play, however, um, so that's nice for them. Uh, over in the Sloganator, and the Beekeepers are on top on 14 and 3. Uh, they have three games left to play. Oh, no, I think we're going to have to play them. Yeah, Stardos are all done. They've, they've played their 20. Okay. Um, the Wretched Minstrels are on 12 and 5. Uh, also, having finished their season, is the Cheerio Inc. on 10 and 10. They're not necessarily out of action yet. Hmm. Our next game will be against the Bumps and Medics, and it's one we need to win in order to maintain our momentum. But I think we've probably won enough for the season already. Uh, just to, you know, get into post-season action. Let's go, uh, let's go into a bit of stats, because we're here. Here are the top 10 players in the league. Emmental Helmet for Ball Grazer Ridge uh, is number one. Uh, Cheerio Inc.'s Marcel Purpose is number two, and they've, they've all got numbers associated with them. Uh, Kojak Mister on his third, Papal Event Horizon fifth, and Cindy Vapid down in eighth. Cindy, good show. Uh, batting, well, for batting average, it's Kojak, Furious, top of the league. Zoltan's in there, so Cindy. Uh, from other teams, Ball Grazer Ridge is Adrian Shoehorn, Margot Spatula, who we just saw in action, Rock Justice, Marcel Purpose. Uh, Dick Frisbee for the uh, Space Agency is uh, is in eighth, and Jack Snaggles uh, for the Sportsball Union down in tenth. Home run leaders, well, it's Emmental Helmet, ten. Then a whole bunch of people were seven, including Papal, uh, and uh, that's that. Runs batted in Kojak, Papal, Ulysses, Failure, and Furious Spongebath. All make a showing. Um, yeah, that's exciting. On base percentage, though, is Kojak, Cindy, Furious, Hatch, Hatchet, Malibu's there for on base percentage. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, nice, nice, solid stuff going on there. Uh, hits overall, Kojak, Zoltan, Ulysses, you know the names, uh, but it's Marcel, Purpose, and Margot Spatcher who lead the league. And uh, and then for extra base hits, Margot Spatcher has got 15 extra base hits so far. We don't even break into the top 10 there. Obviously, we're not good enough yet. Uh, talking about players who suck, here are the strikeout leaders. Uh, MSJN and uh, Lazarus Recoil tied in first. Uh, Eric C8 for Colonel School in third. Chunk Flunkerson, Fenella Value Pack tied for fourth or fifth, depending on how you want to do the tie situation stuff there. Uh, for unscored, Cindy Vapid is number one. Is she really? Well, 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 well. And that's a lot of wells. Uh, yeah, Cindy Vapid ahead of Marcel Purpose. That's why she's in the top ten players, you know. Stolen bases, Margot Spatula, Tremaine Jazz Hammock, and Mina Failure, top three. Uh, court stealing, Pickles Dill Herfer, Marcel Purpose, Trip Hogwash. Yeah, don't steal, people. You'll get caught. And then you'll do time in pokey. Uh, for wins, well, there are five players with four wins. Dante Intestines, who we just went up against, and he won. <sighs> Vicky the Flamboyant, Dez Eyeliner for Bulldozer Power and Brandy, Fever and Father Tempests. Yeah. Uh, earned run average. There are some people. Yeah. And end saves. Uh, coming in off the bench to uh, to make all the difference in the world. It's Ramsey Pothole for the Lingo Blend All-Stars. Uh, head of Sinbad Contract for Stardust Human Resources. Uh, here's some more. There's Whip. Yeah. Yalti Clumsy is number one for Whip. Great. Yep, uh, with, uh, I've, I don't know if Whip's good or bad. Well, Vicky La Flamboyant is there, and she was quite good by all accounts. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, she's won four games. Well, that's going to be uh, wins, hit in pitching. Yep, okay. Uh, opponent batting average strikeouts. Savvy Cromulent uh, is, uh, is the big dog as far as strikeouts for the beekeepers. Oh, I don't want to play them. They're yeah, going to be good, aren't they? Uh, ahead of, of Vicky Fl Flamboyant and uh, and Jerk Cortex. Well, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, for walks, Jeff has never walked anybody. In fact, we don't walk people as a rule. That's just that's just something we don't do. All uh, there's all there's three of our starters. Yeah, and Big Jeff. Uh, the strikeout to walk ratio obviously is going to be quite good. Uh, strikeouts by nine inning. You've got uh, El Smiters uh, at number one ahead of Rudy Trembles, Claudette Mostest, Carol Flourish, and Vicky La Flamboyant again making a reference. Did she make the top ten? She should do. She's arguably the best pitcher in the league. Ah, well, there it is. I've been Colonel Failure. Tune in next week for game 18 
uh, where uh, Bulldozer Power will be taking on the mighty Bumps and Medics. Lou Prowess likely to be pitching for them next time around. Hope to see you there. Cheerio. <laughs>